it's here. This is Paper Craft Society box 50 and this one has been designed by me. So this is my fifth Paper Craft Society box now and I do have unboxings of all of the boxes but you can also find my other past ones up here. So if you just click there you'll be able to see those. So before I get started in here please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, pop a comment as well and check out all of my past uh, tutorials. There's loads on there now so lots of inspiration. So this one here I wanted to create something that's a little bit different and maybe something that we don't have in our stash I certainly didn't have something like this before so you can see always on the front of the boxes gives you an idea a little peek as to what the color is what the theme is and some of the pattern paper designs as well so you can see on here we've got some lovely sweet treats we've got donuts cupcakes you've got marshmallows you've got your coffee cup you've got your like ice lattes or milkshake kind of cup there and um, you've got some cake as well cinnamon sticks so a really nice autumnal winter Christmas kind of box here. So of course I know what's inside here but this is the first time I'm actually seeing it all complete. I've received all this product before to test it and check it all and everything but I've not got the complete box so I'm seeing it all here with you first hand. So inside here a little message from me. I hope you enjoy this box of sweet treats and I always like to go into the envelope first and then we'll see what's inside the tissue but again I do know what's in there but I think it's nice if you've never had these boxes before um, Again, like I said, check out the playlist with all of them on there. So all 50 boxes are unboxed in that playlist. And there's also all the links to the Papercraft Society. So whether you want to take out a monthly subscription, a quarterly, six monthly, or even a yearly, which does mean the box individually works out cheaper if you take out the yearly subscription, all the information is there. So this subscription is open now until the 20th of next month, and then it will go on to the next designer. So inside here, as always, don't forget to share anything you make. If you share your stuff on social media, then just use the hashtag Papercraft Society so we can find you. So we've got three pockets, dies, your specialty papers and a stamp set here. So I'm going to take all the plastic off first of all. You have here everything you need to make a coffee cup, drinks cup, and you can, you know, fill it or have it decorated, you know, any way you want really. So this is going to be great for Christmas. So think of it in your reds and your whites and whipped cream and sprinkles and things like that. So you can have like a Christmas drink or for the, you know, autumn that we're going into now, you've got things like your waffle, you've got some lemon there or lime, you've got your little tea bag and the string, you've got a straw here, and then you've got three toppers. So you've got your whipped cream, or this can be it could be ice cream. You can use that on its own as well. It doesn't have to be used with the coffee cup. You then have your domed coffee cup here. So this is lovely cut in acetate and you could have like the cream behind and you can see that in the booklet with the samples. We'll cut it with card as well. It's entirely up to you in white because that's how, you know, a lot of them are when you go and get your takeaway coffees and drinks. And then you've got your more traditional looking coffee cup here as well. So again, cut that in white if you want it to look a bit more authentic, but it looks really nice with your mirrored card. And then here you've got this rectangle here. So this is your panel to attach a gift card. So the whole idea with this one is a fun way to add a gift because I think, you know, we post a lot of cards and we post things to people that maybe we're not going to see at Christmas. So if you like to send gift cards, then you can, you know, stick that on there. It's the perfect size. But you could also have a little hidden message in there as well. It could be a fun little pop up. So there's other things you can do with it. And this little die here is your slot for this to slide in. And you can add that slot anywhere you want. So if you want to have maybe you make like making your scrapbook layouts, you could have this as a scrapbook layout and you pull this out. There might be a photo or or there could be a fun message or something in there. So yeah, you'll see me use this in 3D makes and also in cards as well. And then here is the stamp set. So you've got some really nice images here. You've got this lovely cheesecake. It could be a sponge cake. It's entirely up to you how you color that one. You've got the cupcake here with all the hundreds and thousands, cinnamon stick. You just got some fun little sprinkles there, your pretzel, you've got marshmallows. This is just a nice little icon with the uh, coffee bean. You've got your donut, you've got your macarons and you've got some more coffee beans here. And then you've got your sentiments, happy birthday, have a drink on me, which is again that, you know, if you, you can't be with someone, but you want to send them a gift for their birthday or for Christmas time, then you can pop a little gift card to their favourite cafe, restaurant, something like that. Then you've also got winter spice and all things nice. And you have been a good friend. So a really nice little set there. And then these are the specialty papers. So we've got some glitter here. So this is no shed. You've got that gorgeous turquoise, which I just loved. You've got this deep red. And then you've got two of your plaid with the green, orange and red. You've got two of this one, which is the pattern on the front of the box. And then you've got two of this plaid here, 
which is more of the reds and then the turquoise. So they're kind of similar, but they're slightly different as well. So that's everything inside the envelopes. Let's have a little look inside the tissue paper here. So I always look back at past boxes, at things that maybe haven't been used before, and I hadn't seen anything with gilding flakes. And I thought gilding flakes and winter, I think, well, anything shiny, I think is really good. And the gold just seemed to work really well with the colours that I chose. So you've got two pots here of gilding flakes. Now, don't be deceived by the size of the pots. The gilding flakes go a very long way and there is tons in here. Again, I show you that, how to use it in the booklet, and I'll also be doing a craft along. Once this has been issued and all of the subscribers have got their boxes, then I will be planning it in a craft along and you'll be able to see this all getting used do be very careful when you open these you know don't be near a fan or with the window open because they are very very fine sheets there of gold gilding flakes okay i'm just going to pop that lid back on again okay so you've got two pots of those you've got this lovely embossing folder in that plaid detail Excuse any snoring. I've said it in a few of my videos now. It seems that when I film, my lovely little dog, Monty, decides to fall asleep to the sound of my voice. So there is a slight snore in the background. <laughs> I will try and drown it out. Uh, then we've got this cute little extra stamp set. So in here, you've got your flake, you've got a cookie, and then you've got the sentiments tea, coffee, and drink, and then pull. So that is your little pull tab or, pull, you know, if you don't have my action stamp set or any of my past collections, then you've got that um, direction, that kind of instruction there so that people know that there's some Something that moves on the card or whatever the project is that you're making you then get your coordinating card stock so here you've got two of the turquoise two of the orange and two of the red in fact if i put them that way you can see there is a, a color difference there between them these are all white core about a two 220 i would say gsm i've never actually checked it might say in the booklet actually but um yeah really nice card stock again with the white core it looks lovely when you emboss the embossing folder you get all of that white coming through so it just gives you a really nice effect and then the booklet so look away if you don't want to see any of the inspiration and the samples that have been made but i am going to just flick through and show you some of them so it's got a little interview with me, a couple of the makes on the front here. So you can see how that coffee cup looks when it's all built up. I've used the embossing folder there with the orange card and that white coming through that I mentioned. You've got the little pull tab. So when you pull that, it will re reveal a gift card. I've also used it with some of my other die sets. So this is the double slider set. And you can see how lovely that cheesecake looks all coloured. And you've got the cookie and the cupcake. And then this one here is another one. So I've used the whipped cream with the gilding flakes because the die plate for that, you can add your embossing like Versafine onto it and then use it as like a stamp. And again, you'll see that um, in my demos as I share them. You see the flake there as well. Really nice fun. That's a slimline card. You've got all of your contents. There's instructions there showing you how to use the gilding flakes. This was another fun one. So this is what I mean. I used, um, it wasn't acetate, it was vellum. And you can see the top of the cream there. And I've added some stripes to the straw, the gilding flakes along the rim there. And then you can see the waffle and the cookie, the star anise, the coffee beans. There's so much texture and detail in these. Um, I just, yeah, I hope that they are inspiring. You can see there when it pulls out the gift card that will reveal as well. Got some lovely makes by Glynis. She's done some alternative ways to use it. Again, you've got all of your step by steps there. Interview with me with said dog that is currently snoring. <laughs> um, again, I won't show too much of that because I know people like to read all of those things. Some lovely, um, again, samples here that have been made by Sarah Jackman Reed. And you can see, she, again, she's showing you how to use the gilding flakes. And then I've got a 3D make here, which I loved making. And I filled that with some Lindor chocolates, which I'm wondering if I've eaten yet. I might still have them free. You've got a gift bag, gift box, which has got the acetate on the top there. Again, all the measurements step by step. I've done videos actually for each of these. So you've got a video for this one, this one, and also, I'm sure I have. <laughs> it's been a while now. It's been about six months since I've done this. Uh, the gift bag there as well. So some really fun little treats then. Like I said, if you're not wanting to do the autumn kind of theme, you can still take this style and change it so it's got Christmas papers. Um, I think, although that one does look very festive in the red and white anyway. I've also got a make here from Gemma, who's on my design team. She's done a lovely make. And Gemma's done three there, but I'm not going to show any more. Um, I've shown a bit more than I usually would, but as this is my box, I just thought it would be, yeah, just nice to share a little bit more so you can see exactly what you're getting. 
So like I said at the beginning, subscription is now open. If you would like to receive this box, it will close. The subscription closes on the 20th of next month and then they should land in your letterbox, usually the beginning of the month. So around the beginning of November, you will receive this box. And like again, I mentioned, check out the subscription options as well because you do have the choice to have the monthly subscription, which you can pause as well because you can see what's going to be coming out. You could then decide maybe it's not something I want. Pause your subscription and then wait for the next box. You've got the quarterly, six monthly and the yearly. And then if there's boxes available after they've gone out to our subscribers, then they become open stocks. You've got that option there as well. But that does work out the most expensive way to purchase. All of that information is linked in the description box below. There'll be links coming up now as well. You might want to click on those instead. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments below. I've loved making this one and I can't wait to share more inspiration using it all. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.